My name is Mason Heberling, and I'm a postdoctoral research associate at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History in the section of botany. It's common to see an abundance of poinsettias this time of year, but what makes them so special? Poinsettias are in the plant family Euphorbiaceae, also called Spurge family. More specifically, poinsettia is a species that has the scientific name Euphorbia pulcherima. In the wild, this species is actually a shrub or small tree native to subtropical mountains of southern Mexico. Look closely at the colorful flowers of poinsettia, and upon closer inspection, you'll notice that those brightly colored structures are not flower petals, but in fact, specialized leaves called bracts. The actual flowers are yellow and quite tiny, but they're quite beautiful if you look closely. Here in the herbarium at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History, we have poinsettia specimens collected from all over the world, including here in Pennsylvania, from cultivation from Phipps Conservatory, from its native range in Mexico, and also from China. Although the species has a rich cultural history by Aztecs and other human cultures before European arrival, the common name poinsettia is named after Jules Poinsett, the first U.S. ambassador to Mexico who introduced the plant to the United States in 1825. To get poinsettias to flower, they must experience days with less than 12 hours of daylight or for eight to 10 weeks straight. So if you wanna keep your poinsettia from year to year and you want it to flower, you must provide the plant with 13 to 16 hours of complete uninterrupted darkness. It might take some commitment to remember to put it in dark closet each day starting as early as say October, but it's well worth the effort. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and of course, come visit us here at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History.